à tous, vous êtes bien sur Redbagging TV, l'émission qui vous présente les groupes du Durbuy, qui vous présente presque tous les groupes du Durbuy. Aujourd'hui, on approche des 6 heures, le festival va bientôt se terminer, le soleil commence tout doucement à se coucher, la journée a été fabuleuse, on a vu plein de gens, et aujourd'hui, j'ai la chance maintenant pour vous de rencontrer Stella Darling. Hello guys, how are you today? Hello, um, we're fine. Yeah, we just played a show here and had a great time. Amazing. Uh, I think we're gonna be close because <laughs> there is a lot of noise. Yeah. So, feel good after this show. So you feel good after this show? That's what you say. You were saying? Yeah, yeah. The yeah, absolutely. A bit exhausted now, but very good. A, a long day. Yes. But it finished now. You will be. You will be able to rest now. Yeah, a little bit, and then tomorrow we drive home. Where are you going tomorrow? Uh, home, Switzerland. Switzerland, okay. To have a good rest for this. Okay. Let's hope so, yeah. So, Stella Darling, let's talk about what you are, about the story of your band. So, you're all member of Elevati. And uh, you split from the band because of personal reasons, and you start to create the creation of your own band. What's happened to, during the creation of this band? Uh, what's What have you done since the end of Elevati and the beginning of your own band? Well, um, we, well, we didn't have a lot of time actually. We basically just left the band. We left Elevati and we immediately started writing songs. We didn't really know what kind, what style of music we wanted to play. We just met up at the rehearsal room and started writing. And everything went really fast. We basically, in one year, we wrote an album, we released it, we signed with a label. So, yeah, it was all a bit surreal as well. And, yeah, now we're here. So. <laughs> Since the beginning, it was clear for you that you want to make music together. Yeah. That you want to stay close and do things together. Cool, okay. So now let's talk about this album, the, your first album, This Is The Sound. Um, how, um, how have you did it? Uh, who wrote the song? Who made the, the melody? Or wh What's happened during the creation of this album? Well, basically we all write the songs together. Uh, mainly Anna or me come up with an idea, like with a song idea. And yeah, we tried out at the rehearsal room and yes but in the end we all played together so I think it's like a typical band thing which we did not have before so yeah we were excited about that everything worked with everybody everything has its word to say for the creation of this album that's what we yes. can say and uh, Is there, is there something you want to say about the creation? An, uh, a short story or something to share? Uh, something that you found really cool during the creation of the album? For the curious person in front of the screen. <laughs> My knee is not gonna say anything. Uh, well, it's hard to say, you know. Uh, recording and writing an album, there's so many great moments that you can't really pick one it all just yeah maybe Merlin knows something. It was one great moment really um, I think it was very different for us writing an album together we did the whole old school rock band thing we rented a house we went to write songs together we spent time in the studio with our producer and it was it was really an amazing time and I think we all in the end we're all very happy this is the way it went we really wouldn't have wanted to do anything else So it was one fantastic moment. And I have questions maybe for you, but what is, what is the place for the early girdy in your band? Is it the center or is it come like a, a guitar after? Are you building the, 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 the song around it or are you including it? For example, they give riff, they give a, a rhythm and you put your, your early girdy inside of it? What? How do you, how do, you do with it? With it? It depends. Like, uh, if I start writing a song, then the hurdy gurdy is obviously going to be part of the song from the beginning. Sometimes the hurdy gurdy even initiates a song, uh, a melody, because I write on the hurdy gurdy. 
Uh, sometimes I also add it later, like when we're jamming together or if Evo writes a song, I'm going to add it on top of what's already there. So it's uh, very different, but it's always a part of the process from the very beginning. I have another question for you. but Now you're the front woman of the band. You're in the center of the attention. Um, what did you do to train yourself or to prepare? Is what I think it wasn't easy for you at the beginning. You, you, you don't want to do that in the first time. So now, what have you done to be to take your place as a front woman, as a leader on stage, if I can say that? Can you share something about your uh, your place now? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard to say because I'm still learning. You know, I'm. Um, I'm not a trained musician. I didn't go to any school or I didn't take lessons. So what I learn is from just doing it, you know? And so if you do it that way, it's very, it's, it's exhilarating, but it's also a lot of trial and error, you know? Then if you're, if you go to a school and you learn singing and you learn moving, that's something different, you know? Um, so I would still say that I'm in the learning phase. I, I figure out who I want to be and what I want to do. And I'm not the most confident of people. I, uh, I'm not somebody who likes a lot of attention. I don't like being in the center. So that's pretty weird for a, a front person. But I think we're doing it really well because we present ourselves as a trio. We're not the band with the chick in the front. We are just a trio and we're presenting ourselves as that. And I think that helps a lot. This project is really yours. You're three musician and you really want to do some things for yourself. Okay, uh, so now the album has been done, your tour to defend it, and what? And for tomorrow, what's going to happen for you? What do you want to do with Stella Darling? A new album maybe working on already or later? We're actually already working on the new album. We have a couple songs. Yeah, we plan to record it in June or July, just in summer. And uh, yeah, but there's no release date yet. So you still have to wait, but we're working on it. Now. It's already on, on its way. Okay, uh, here I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh, ask you a question. If I give you a magic wand or an envelope with a lot of money for making whatever you want for your band, for yourself, what would you do? Buy a house, I think. Well, yeah, a house, and then we put a studio in it, and we'll make music. Yeah. Work at home. Okay. And is there a, um, a place you want to go with Sarah Darling? Something you really want to do? A festival, maybe, or a country, or a special tour with some some band? I think we were really lucky because with our previous band, all three of us got to tour. Uh, for 10 years, we visited 45 countries, I think. And I think mine and all, I think all our ambition is to visit all those places again, because we have fans everywhere. We have fans in Brazil, in Mexico, and it doesn't really matter if it's five or a hundred. We really want to go and, and play for them and play with them and have a good time. And that's what we're working on besides the album is we, we hope to make it to all of those places again. Yeah. Travel around the world to meet people and to yeah. share your music. And What's the message behind your music? What do you want to share with Sela Darling? What's the, the, what do, do you want people to take from your music? <laughs> um, well, you might have picked it up that we, we call ourselves storytellers. But as opposed to our old band, we don't tell old stories. We want to tell new ones. We want to invent new stories. but. With the same feeling as you know the stories that we grew up with the stories our parents told us uh, legends and myths because essentially they are what we experience in everyday lives and and we want to paint pictures with our music and and take you on a journey that's uh, basically what our band is about and our stories come from from what we uh, experience in in just everyday life but we want to kind of, um, we don't want to tell the stories as they are. We want to pack them into something a bit surreal, a bit abstract. Yeah. But we, but here with a really modern mind, really, really do something actual. That's it's, it's more the spirit. 
Okay, here uh, it will be your minute. I'm going to give you the second microphone and give you one minute with all the person behind their screen. You do whatever you want. Uh, really give a message, scream, thing, do whatever you want. It's for you, it's your minute. Share and do what you want. Well, I want to thank all the fans that have been around maybe even before Sella Darling and the ones we, which came later because without them we weren't be able to do what we do. So it sounds like the thing every band says, but and pr it probably is, but it's just true, you know, because without them we, we wouldn't be here where we are. And uh, yeah, that's, that's my 20 seconds. <laughs> Are we timing it? Do I have 20 seconds? Um, that's oh yeah oh yeah that's right okay um oh shit i think i already used up my 20 seconds but anyways uh i think what evo said is the the essence of it it's the, the essence of our band that we have to thank uh, that we want to we have to we want to thank everybody who supports us in any way um what i can say is our band is the proof that if you really want something you can achieve it somehow um, two years ago, we had no idea what would happen if we would, if we would even be able to continue playing music. We had no idea. What we did was just we believed in ourselves, and we played authentic music, and that brought us here. So, and anyone can achieve that. You don't need to. You don't need to go to a music school. You don't need to have money. You can do it just by believing in it. Nothing to add to that. That was perfect. Yeah. So, thank you for your time. Thank you for your show. Thank you for the album. Thank you for the futures. And I really hope to see you again on stage or maybe an interview. And I really hope you're gonna have good times and in studio too and make some things that you wanna do. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you.